so friends now we are going to discuss about a very interesting and very important part of group dynamics that is how can we facilitate group performance so with regard to group performance there can be two particular kinds of criteria two particular broad kinds of different factors one is external factors another is internal factor so external factor here means what if any group is belonging to a particular kind of organization okay then those particular features which are part of that organization they can be clubbed under they can be categorized as they can be termed as external factors of group performance and those which are part of any group they are part of intrinsic nature of any group they can be called as internal factors of group performance now first of all we are going to discuss about external factors of group performance so whatever group performance that here we are going to discuss about this is mostly with regard to formal group because all of us would be at certain point of time we'd be pursuing some kind of formal rules in any group so we will have to know about that how can we facilitate performance of any formal group whenever we would be working at some kind of workplace at some kind of industry some kind of organization some kind of college some kind of university wherever we would be working so what can be those particular external factors which will determine group performance the first very important is organizational strategy organizational strategy so organizational strategy here means what organizational strategy here means that how any organization is going to achieve its goal whether that organization has deciphered that strategy that particular procedure has that been informed to all the employees of that organization so organizational strategy would be the first external factor which will determine group performance the another one will be what another one will be organizational policy organizational policy here means what organizational policy here means that what sort of rules and policies procedures that have been evolved that have been developed in order to standardize employees behavior some kind of ordinance okay so whether they are explicit or not whether they are suitable or not that will also determine group then third one is authority structure different group members are required to report to whom and who is going to take the decisions so who is the uh, basic nodal point and what can be some kind of structure of nodal points in the process of any uh, decision making which is required for any group so that is also very important authority structure to whom we have to report to and who can take decision at different organizational levels and then fourth very important is organizational resources whether there is proper provision of infrastructure resources for functioning of any group or not that is also very important and then organizational culture sometimes at any organization there are certain unwritten rules which evolve with the time 
with the passage of time so with that through that there is some kind of development of organizational culture that we will discuss in detail that we will study in detail later on and then also whether at any organization there is proper recognition of employees performance or not so for that there must be some kind of proper suitable appropriate performance evaluation system i mean whatever kind of task whatever kind of duties whatever kind of responsibilities that we want that any group should fulfill that that any group should play that okay so we will have to develop some kind of evaluation system some kind of reward system some kind of recognition system that is also called as performance evaluation system only then we would be able to reinforce those particular groups or those particular members of any group who had done in a much better way otherwise there would be diffusion in the responsibility and there would be lack in the performance of any group thank you thank you so much